Difference between atrial fibrillation and all other heart palpitations, created by Upolife. Every second of the day, your heart is working hard to pump enough blood to each body organ. Through the blood, the organs are getting all of the nutrients and oxygen they need. Every time your heart is pumping blood, it makes a noticeable sound known as the heartbeat. Each heartbeat is controlled by the heart's electrical system. Unfortunately, it is not uncommon for this electrical system to fail to function correctly. Various factors can cause disturbances in this electrical system. Some examples are coronary heart disease, heart surgery, and electrolyte disbalances. As a result of the disturbed electrical system, you may experience arrhythmias. There are many different types of arrhythmias, with atrial fibrillation, also called AF, being the most common type. Arrhythmias are not to be confused with the more common heart palpitations. There is a major difference between AF and palpitations. Heart palpitations are described as a racing heartbeat. The heart may even skip or add a beat, and with that, cause noticeable changes in the heart rhythm. Often patients describe heart palpitations as a pounding or fluttering heart. In most cases, the heart palpitations go away on their own. However, they can also be more severe and a sign of a more serious underlying health issue that requires medical assistance. If dizziness, fainting, excessive sweating, chest tightness, and shortness of breath accompany the heart palpitations, seek immediate medical assistance. The possible causes of heart palpitations include excessive use of caffeine and alcohol, nicotine use, stress, and anxiety as well as lack of sleep, dehydration, and others. A defective heart valve and congestive heart failure can also cause heart palpitations. These are considered to be more serious factors, which require immediate medical assistance. Meanwhile, AF is the most common type of heart arrhythmias. It develops as a result of a problem with the heart's electrical system. Similar to heart palpitations, AF, too, causes the heart rate to slow down or speed up. It can also cause the heart to skip a beat or even flutter, creating the well-known quivering heart sensation. However, the difference between AF and palpitations can be seen. Although AF, too, can be caused by extreme emotions such as fear, stress, and happiness, in the majority of cases, it develops as a symptom of more serious health issues. Some of the most common causes of AF are coronary heart disease, heart surgery, and electrolyte imbalances. AF is also commonly seen in elderly people over the age of 65. The risk is increased in case of a thyroid issue being present, which is less often seen in heart palpitations. If you experience a quivering and racing heart rate out of nowhere, that may be a sign of AF. A pounding heart due to anxiety or intensive exercise may not be so worrying, as it is probably a case of heart palpitations. If symptoms such as chest tightness and shortness of breath are present, do not hesitate to call your doctor, as you may be in a life-threatening condition. During your visit to the doctor, be prepared to answer various questions regarding your heart. Mention any factors that may have contributed to your current state. Any stressful situations, events, and strong emotions that may have influenced your heart function need to be mentioned. Revise your medical history as it will be important during this talk. Do not hesitate to report any unhealthy habits. Conclusion. There are a lot of things that can go wrong with one of the most important body organs, the heart. Being able to recognize the early signs and ask for help may help save your life. We hope that you will now be able to notice any of these signs and talk to your doctor about them. Learn more about how to evaluate your heart health and manage your heart condition at home by visiting upolife.com.